Okay, so this one goes out to all the fundamentalists, I guess. All of those who let religion control much of their lives. Imagine if one day the food you were eating, the what and what you were drinking was restrained. Not not for any reason of conserving it. Not in order to make sure that we didn't run out. In this hypothetical example, there is plenty of food and drink. But imagine that you were prevented by an authority from eating what you wanted to, drinking what you wanted to, anything, any, any time that you wanted to eat. Basically, you wouldn't be allowed to if you really wanted to eat. You know, it would only be to keep you alive, you know. And it wouldn't be very tasty food. It'd be like boiled vegetables. Maybe not even fresh ones of that. The water would be not necessarily the cleanest. It'd be lukewarm, and you wouldn't be allowed to wait for it to cool off. And in both cases, food and water, you would only get enough to get by. It, it wouldn't really matter if you were suffering greatly under this. It wouldn't... No allowances would be made. You wouldn't, be, you wouldn't get more. There wouldn't be pity. In, in fact, you'd be judged. They would make you feel as if you were less of a proper person. You were a bad person if you wanted something more to eat, something more to drink, something tastier, just slightly pleasant to eat or drink. I would imagine that to most people this would sound horrible. This would sound like maybe totalitarianism, dictatorship, like behavior and that level of control. So, if you would, in this respect, protest greatly against this sort of thing, then can I ask you why you accept it as far as sex goes? Sex is another physical, psychological need. Sex is another thing that you are told you shouldn't have for any kind of enjoyment. In fact, I would wager that quite a few monotheistic religions would do away with sex entirely if it wasn't that it did keep the species going. And you let them tell you how to have sex, when to have sex, that you shouldn't enjoy it, that you can't have sex in any possible way that can't lead to pregnancy. That was a double negative, sorry about that. And just in case there are those who, when it comes to religion, would accept even this less interesting and appealing food and drink, if you would accept that, just how far would you go? Just how much would you give up? 
just how alluring is that promise of something better as long as you tolerate this. Are you sure it's even better that it isn't just more time? Do you want more time if you still have to suffer through something not pleasant, not sufficient? That's all.